Here is per back with another video and I just got done watching episode 5 of Stranger Things season 3 and what I would like you guys to do is follow me on Twitter like this video if you enjoyed this episode um, and subscribe if you're brand new because I'm going to have way more videos in the future but with all that being said let's get right into this so starts off pretty much you know Erica and all of them are still stuck in that ele in that elevator um, really unnecessary screams from Dustin could go without that but you got Hopper and Joyce driving to this Hess property to see what's going on with all these individual areas that are connected to the old lab um, they find this little secret door go down these little steps and they come across two um, people that are speaking Russian and don't really know exactly what they do but you know this Terminator dude just pops out of nowhere and this Terminator dude right here that you see Hopper have the gun to is the highlight of this episode by far the best thing in this episode um, cool ass Terminator esque type character really cool shit but then we get um Jonathan getting a call from Nancy and talking about oh uh trying to get a hold of her brother Will and Will's not even there and he tells she tells Jonathan that he might be in trouble and you know Jonathan don't play when it comes to his brother so you know they link up and then we get Hopper and Joyce stuck out in the woods because the Terminator dude pretty much fucked up their whole car. I'm telling you, this dude is a fucking savage. But and I like the back and forth that Hopper and um, Joyce like are having. They act like a married couple, and it's really it's really entertaining to watch. Like this was like the second my second favorite part of this whole entire episode. And then you know you got. 11 trying to find Hopper um, tells everybody he's at the woods um, but they get a knock at the door and it ends up being you know Jonathan and Nancy but then we get back to the elevator where Dustin is trying to reach somebody on the walkie talkie and can't really get any range down there and so Steve and Dustin get to talking and he keeps pressing him pressing him about uh, Robin and even though we all know that they're gonna probably end up hooking up by the end of this so it's it's whatever at the end of the day but they find a way out of the elevator but they don't know exactly where they're going and there's just mad pet long ass hallways to different ends of the underground facility that they're at so you know so pretty much back at Mike's house, they're trying to figure out where the source of this thing is coming from, where this, um, was it the mind flare? And, uh, you know, they all, uh, end up going to the hospital together, but man, this Terminator character, bro, this dude is dope. If they, it's like he doesn't sleep, he's just sitting there tracking, uh, Hopper and um joyce and while they're being hunted you know um the one russian dude smirnoff whatever uh how Hop hopper likes to call him they find a fucking 7-eleven <laughs> and uh hopper ends up stealing this dude's car uh, <laughs> it's just really crazy the uh the adventure they they just went on um meanwhile you got our regular crew you know doing their own little investigation um they go to uh heather's house and do a little investigating they, they can't really find nothing there's 
No, uh, there's just blood on bottles and stuff and just chemicals everywhere. So they get the idea to just try to use, get the old lady to guide them to where the mind flare is at. Meanwhile, this Terminator dude is still chasing down, you know, Hopper and Joyce, and he fucks up this, uh, this, um, store clerk and whatnot. This shit was funny as hell. Then Hopper goes to visit uh, a new character that, you know, um, I don't know if he's gonna be something, play a part in a future season or not, but he's kind of a nut. Uh, so the kids also stumble upon something pretty crazy. Uh, they run into a whole Russian operation, and I don't know how nobody saw them, but, you know, TV shit. Um, they get caught, but before somebody gets hurt, you know, um, Steve steps up and fucks this dude up, and he gets his first up, and then, then Robin stumbles upon this room, and they find out, they find where the collider is, or whatever the fuck that machine's called, and they see that's like replicating what the lab did uh, in the first two seasons. Then we get a scene with, you know, uh, Nancy and Jonathan kind of talking while they're going up in the elevator, getting ready, pretty much for war. <laughs> um, you know, they kind of squash shit between them and, you know, uh, put their differences aside and kind of apologize to one another. Same thing with, you know, with Mike and Eleven, they're starting to talk to each other again. They get some time to, you know, kind of talk off camera. But, you know, I like how they kind of set it up. And I'm kind of glad that, you know, they're not officially back together. But I'm pretty sure by the next episode, they're going to get back together. But while this is going on, Nancy and Jonathan are pretty much getting hunted down by these it's it, it reminds me of the crazies if anybody remembers that movie back in the day uh back in 2010 the crazies or whatever that's what these guys reminded me of not so much the zombies but they're getting chased down um even fucking jonathan gets his ass whooped to the point where i thought he was gonna die yo he got his ass whooped that shit was crazy but they they end up um getting the best of them and killing whatever the hell that shit was some fucking blood mush whatever the fuck you know comes out of these dudes whatever and combined and create this fucking beast like thing whatever so they're they're in some trouble right now because they don't got 11 by them and you know they're upstairs so they're gonna have to deal with this issue with by themselves pretty much or who knows what might happen um i enjoyed this episode a lot was going on so f this seemed like all over the place you know i, I don't know what to tell you but till the next episode review i'll check y'all later well, when i was young i thought that success was all i needed that's what was gonna bring the happiness buying my mom a house uh being to fame, the accolades, having people say, yo, you are the best in the game. I thought those would be the things that would bring happiness. And then when those things came, the, the happiness wasn't there. And I, I realized why that was. There was, a, there was such an attempt to achieve these things and to keep going that you lose sight of the people and the blessings that you have around.